Hey guys, I am heading out to Rocky Point, North Carolina. I changed out a compressor a couple weeks ago. You guys watched the video. Um, matched up with a very old indoor unit and they say now that the indoor unit blower's not coming on and nothing's happening. So we're gonna see if we have an issue when it rains, it pours. Let's see if there's an issue with the transformer, blower, control circuit, what have you. We shall see. First thing I did was walk up to the electrical panel. I see that there's no trip breakers in here. Our furnace breakers are here. There's two because it's an electric furnace. So I guess we're good there. I'm gonna turn the thermostat on and see what comes on and what doesn't. Turn the cooling on and I turned the fan in the on position but nothing happened. So we're gonna go to the transformer and see if we got power as well to the machine. Here was the old GE General Electric. Electric furnace. She's an oldie. Oldie but a goodie. We're gonna open her up. First time she's been open since I changed the blower back in 2011. You can see a little bit of evidence where there's some water on the inside there. I'm gonna pour some water in that drain pan and see how she works as far as if it holds water, if it's leaking down. Because I see on the edges here, there is some water you can't really. You see where water's run down there? I'm gonna shut the power off and see if I can get any water to go around the pan or see if it drains out or see what's going on. It looks like there is a little bit of water in the pan holding water. So I'm going to go outside and vacuum out that water there. See if we can't free this thing up to flow a little bit more freely. I used my shot vac over here to suck out the drain. Plenty of water did come out as well as a clog. So the water has disappeared from the drain pan now. And we're going to see what damage the water did. Next we're going to see what kind of voltage we have. I turn the breakers back on. I'm going to test our voltage here. We have 240 here. And on the next leg up, we have 240 as well. Now let's come up to the control circuit and we'll check and see if we have 24. Up here at the top, we have all of our thermostat connections here. We'll go from B, which back in the day was the common for General Electric and Train. And we'll go to R which we have continuity, but no voltage there. So we will shut the breakers back off and replace this transformer because it's not producing 24 volts because obviously it was shorted out by whatever water spilled into the cabinet. Put a fuse on it just to make sure we don't have an issue with another blown transformer. We'll test everything out and make sure it's squared away and then we will ride off into the sunset. Successful and heroic. We have our new transformer down here. The old one is tucked away in there and will remain there forever. I'm going to separate the old one from the wiring that comes to it. We have a, a red wire here and it looks like a white if we can see it right there. That is the 230 volts coming to the transformer. I will just cut them off of the transformer there and wire nut them to this transformer over here and they will take the two black wires you see. Black pinstripe wires and that is the 24 volts and we'll cut those off as close as we can and then pigtail the other ones together so in a nice orderly fashion okay guys I have my new transformer in place two high voltage wires here butt spliced heat shrink on each one of those there's our common low voltage I took those right off of the old transformer just nipped them up close then spliced them into the circuit where they were at before on the other leg 24 volt hot, we have one fuse in place. I'm gonna turn things on, see if everything fires up, and then I can get everything tucked away a little bit nicer once I do. We're gonna fire things up, see if it takes off, see if the fuse blows, see what happens. Oh, looky there. Old Shaky lives to shake another day. So the old GE lives to fight another day. Old Shaky. I quiet her down a little bit, but Old Shaky seems to find a way to make noise no matter what you do to it. So, I gave up a long time ago. It's been shaking for five years that I've been working on it. It's still going. But she's, she's like a tank. <laughs> a fucking tank, buddy. But I'll see you guys on the next call.